Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about my Holy Grail drugstore makeup products. And I had such a hard time narrowing this down because I have so many drugstore products that I love and use all of the time. And if you have been subscribed to me for a while, you know how much I love drugstore products and you know how many different drugstore products that I use. So this was really hard for me to do. Um, I tried to just narrow it down to like the best of the best in my opinion. So this video is probably going to be a little long, so get a snack, maybe go get some coffee. We're just going to sit here and I'm going to talk about all of my favorite Holy Grail drugstore products. <music> This is the foundation that I like to use when I want my skin to look more luminous and dewy. It's the foundation that I'm wearing today, and it's the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. I just love everything about this foundation. It just gives your skin a really healthy glow. It's a foundation that you can use more lightweight, or you can build it up to a full coverage. The True Match Lumi, there's a lot of different colors in this range so it suits a lot of different skin tones. The L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I have really fallen in love with this foundation over the over this past year and I have found my favorite way to apply the L'Oreal True Match is with like a beauty blender or the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I just find that when you apply this foundation with a makeup sponge like that it just goes on flawless like it lasts all day. It has a great semi-matte finish, so it's not too matte and it's not too dewy. Like it's right in the middle. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set Makeup Extender Setting Spray. This product is amazing for just setting your makeup and keep and keeping it lasting all day long. Um, it's very comparable to the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, so if you have been wanting to try out that product but don't want to spend the money on it, I do recommend trying out this L'Oreal one. The Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is a great concealer for your face or also for your under eyes. It's full coverage, so it covers up your dark under eye circles really good and it also does a good job of covering up blemishes so if you have a lot of acne blemishes this is a great concealer for your face um, it has a good semi matte finish like it's not too matte it's not too dewy the L'Oreal true match super blendable powder this is like the only face powder that I use and I just think it's great because it does give your skin a little bit of a coverage because it is it does have a little bit of a tint to it, but it's not so much coverage that it looks cakey. It doesn't look powdery on the skin. Um, it's just an awesome face powder from the drugstore. And just like the True Match Foundation, this powder comes in a ton of different shades. Um, the shade that I have right now is kind of a little too light for me, but I make it work. My next Holy Grail makeup product is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. This powder is what I use to set my under eye concealer and once I use it to set my under eye concealer my concealer doesn't go anywhere it doesn't settle into creases or lines whenever I use this powder and it also keeps my under eye concealer on all day long so if you have trouble with your under eye concealers creasing or not lasting throughout the day I highly recommend this stuff like I cannot do my makeup without this I use it every single day <laughs> the Milani eyeshadow primer. I use this stuff so much in my eyeshadow tutorials. You guys probably get sick of me using this primer because it's practically the only eyeshadow primer I use. I do have some other ones that I like to alternate with, but I do consider this one Holy Grail. The reason why it's Holy Grail for me is it keeps my eyeshadows from fading. Like when I put this on and put my eyeshadows on top, I know that my, my eyeshadows are going to last all day. Um, my eyeshadows don't crease when I use this. This first product that, that I'm going to mention is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper Brow Gel Mascara. And this product is a tinted brow gel. And it just has like a little brush like this. Um, and I like to use this product to set my eyebrows in place 
to also give them a little bit of a tint and to also make them look a little fuller because this product has tiny fibers in it. I was previously using the light medium because my hair was platinum blonde. If you're new to my channel and this is one of the first videos that you're seeing from me, my hair used to be platinum blonde, so go check out those other videos if you want to see what it looks like. But I have found the color that works better on me now is the medium dark. Then my other Holy Grail brow product from the drugstore is the Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit. Not only do I love this product for my eyebrows, but I also like this product for eyeshadow. And I use this all the time for like an everyday eyeshadow look. The highlight shade in this palette is one of my favorite highlight eyeshadows, like a highlight eyeshadow from the drugstore. It is just so pretty. I mean, I like this color better than some of my high-end like eyeshadows for highlighting. So this palette is worth it just for this color, I feel like. But it's just so versatile, great for your eyebrows, great for eyeshadow. <laughs> So I'm sure this next product will come as no surprise, but this is the e.l.f. liquid liner in the color black. This product I use all the time. It's very affordable. It's like a dollar for this. I love the applicator. It just has a nice like small brush, but it is very easy to use. Um, it's very black, like as you can see. And I don't have any issues with it flaking off throughout the day. Like, it lasts until I take my makeup off. This thing is so good that I don't even want to, like, use a lot of high-end liquid liners just because I feel like this thing can't do no wrong in my eyes. I love this liquid liner. Um, so, yeah, this is definitely Holy Grail product for me. Then my next Holy Grail liquid liner is the, the Jordana Fabi Liner. And this is in the color brown. I also like the Jordana liquid liner in black, but because I love my e.l.f. liquid liner in black so much, I don't normally reach for that one. But for a brown liquid liner, I love the Jordana one. Um, it is a very dark brown. Like, it probably will look black on camera. I don't know if you're going to be able to really tell a difference between this and that. I think you can. Um, it's just a very dark blackened brown. I just feel like it is hard to find a good black brown liquid liner from the drugstore. And this is a great one. Um, it's also very affordable. I think it's like $1.99 for like the Jordana liquid liners. So that is the brown liquid liner that I'm wearing today. So I know like once you get it on, it looks black, but it's just so slightly softer than black. It's not quite as harsh. My two Holy Grail pencil liners from the drugstore, like when it comes to like a black one and a brown one, the Fergie Wet n Wild Long Wearing Eye Pencils. These things are amazing for drugstore like liners. They are so creamy. They last forever. They just glide on so like easy on your waterline and tight line. They're great for putting on your upper lash line and smoking out. Like these pencils are just awesome. And here are the two colors here. I know the black one doesn't look super black, but when you get it on your under, like when you get it on your waterline or if you put it on your upper lash line, like it looks really black. Um, but yeah, they're right here. And you can tell that they go with the liquid liners like really well, like the colors. When it comes to colored pencil eyeliners, I love the NYX Slide On Glide On Pencils. This one is in the color Glitzy Gold, and it's a really pretty metallic gold. And then the other one is in Golden Bronze, which is a very pretty copper. So here are those two colors here. This is Glitzy Gold, and this is um, Golden Bronze. Um, these colors look so pretty on your waterline. Like when you look down, it just like reflects that color. Um, so yeah, that's why I really like these and consider these Holy Grail. They're great eyeliners to just add to like a really basic look. Um, just like an everyday look to kind of jazz it up a little bit. So yeah, I had to include these because I love them. This was another category that it was so hard for me to narrow it down. But I tried to narrow it down to eyeshadows that I use a lot or that I feel like are the best. So this first one is one of the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows. And this is in the color Amber Rush. 
This is such a beautiful color. I feel like it's very flattering on everybody. It's just a very pretty copper color. Um, I'll just swatch it for you guys. It's right here. Um, when the light hits it, it looks lighter. And then whenever you have it to the side, you can really see that copper color. So it's just a great color to just throw on your lids. Like you don't even have to use a different color with it if you don't want to. Like this color looks beautiful on its own. It's very pigmented and it lasts on my eyes until I take it off at the end of the day. I don't have any issues with this creasing if I just use it on its own. Um, so it's an amazing eyeshadow. My next Holy Grail eyeshadow product from the drugstore is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the color Bad to the Bronze. This is just a beautiful taupey bronzy brown. The only thing about the Maybelline Color Tattoos that drives me a little crazy is after you've, after you've had these for a while, they kind of dry up and they're not as creamy as they once were, but I can still use this and it still works the same. It's just not as creamy, um, but this is one of those colors that sort of like Amber Rush, you can just throw it on your eyes and it looks great. You can just use it by itself. This right here is Bad to the Bronze, and it almost has like different dimensions to it, like um, Amber Rush, like where you look at it straight on and it looks lighter, but then when you see it from the side, it looks darker. So that's why it looks really good on, on its own, because you can put it on your eyelid and it looks like a different color than what it is in the crease. It lasts all day long on me. I don't have any issues with it creasing. Um, so yeah, that is definitely a Holy Grail eyeshadow product for me. My next Holy Grail eyeshadow is an eyeshadow trio and it's one of the Wet n Wild eyeshadow trios and this is in Silent Treatment. This is my favorite trio from Wet n Wild. I just love these colors. I just think they're pretty and they're unique and this is a great little trio to do like an everyday look with it or you can do like a more dramatic look with it. The colors are just really pigmented and they're just beautiful. So that's those swatched here on my fingers and I'll just swatch it here on my hand. Um, they're just great eyeshadows and I love like this combination together. So this is a Holy Grail makeup product. And then another eyeshadow palette from Wet n Wild that's Holy Grail is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. I don't reach for this palette every single day, but I do consider it Holy Grail because the colors in here are so versatile and they're all so pigmented and I feel like this eyeshadow palette will look great on every skin tone out there. I'm wearing it today. I filmed an eyeshadow tutorial with this palette and I posted it on Wednesday. So if you'd like to see how I did this makeup look, I'll have that video linked down below. But yeah, this palette is just awesome. I am sad though because I busted this eyeshadow a while back so half of it is gone but it'll probably take me forever to use up this color because it is so pigmented and you need like the littlest amount of it um, but just to show you how pigmented this palette is like here's some of the eyeshadows like swatch my finger and this color right here which is this shade down here is a really cool um, duochrome color I know that there's a lot of other eyeshadows like this one out on the market like I know ColourPop has some eyeshadows that look like this and I know that MAC has an eyeshadow like this in the color Club and this is a dupe for that so yeah I love this palette it's great then my last Holy Grail eyeshadow product from the drugstore is this Maybelline the Nudes palette and I know that some people probably don't feel like this is a Holy Grail product. I know some people really love this or they don't. The shadows aren't like super soft and super buttery, but I mean they are pigmented. They are slightly chalky, but for a drugstore eyeshadow palette, I think this is a great option. Like you have a matte black in here, which is really hard to find matte black eyeshadows from the drugstore, especially in an eyeshadow palette. You have a good, just like light neutral color that you could use as a brow bone highlight that's matte. You have good semi like matte brown shades in here. You have like shimmery colors. I just feel like you can do a lot of looks with this too. And I use this palette a lot. Um, so this would definitely be one of those palettes I would run out and buy at the drugstore if I lost all my makeup. So I had to include it in my Holy Grail makeup products. <music> 
And I picked out the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer, and the Maybelline, the Rocket Mascara. These two mascaras together are amazing. And honestly, these two mascaras on their own are also really amazing. Um, the Super Sizer, when I first bought this, I didn't know if I liked it. The brush on it is pretty different. It's pretty unique. Um, the bristles are kind of like really spaced out. You have shorter ones and longer ones. But I just find with this mascara, it really gives my lashes length and volume. Um, I like to go in with the Maybelline The Rocket because it gives my eyelashes a little more separation than the Super Sizer. But the Maybelline The Rocket is another great mascara to give your eyelashes a lot of volume. And it keeps your lashes curled all day long. The wand is a rubbery type of wand and it's very similar to like the CoverGirl Lash Blast um, wand but I like the Rocket better than the CoverGirl Lash Blast so yeah I love both of these mascaras I don't have any issues with them flaking or smudging and I used both of these mascaras today on my lashes so holy grail mascaras for sure this isn't gonna come as a surprise my favorite well, my two favorite highlighters, and I like these for two different reasons. This first one is the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in the color Blushed Gems. I know that this highlighter is pretty hard to find, and a lot of times it's sewed out on e.l.f., but if you can get your hands on this, highly, highly recommend it. It is a beautiful... So, I have been filming so long, my camera cut off. So, I don't know where my camera cut off when I was talking about my highlighters, but... The e.l.f. Baked Highlighter is definitely a holy grail highlighter for me. Um, I was swatching it on my hand when I noticed the camera cut off. Um, but it just gives your skin a very, like, almost wet look whenever you use it. I have it swatched right here. Um, it's just a beautiful highlight. It is shimmery, but it doesn't have, like, chunky shimmer in it. Um, so that's why I really like it. I think the color of it is so pretty. It's like a champagne color. I'm curious to know if this highlight is similar to the um, new highlighter that Jaclyn Hill came out with, with Becca Champagne Pop. I think that's what it's called. I have a feeling that this highlight would be very similar to that. So I'm curious to pick that one up and like compare, do like a comparison video. So if that's something you guys would like to see, let me know down in the comments. And then my other Holy Grail highlighter from the drugstore is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. I find this to be more of a highlight on me, but it's the Reserve Your Cabana. And this one isn't as shimmery as the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter. And that's why I like to use this one when I want my skin to look highlighted, but I don't want it to look super like shimmery. Sorry, my swatches are probably looking really bad now. I need to wipe some of them off. But it's swatched right here. It has like that luminous look to it, like where it's lighter, but it's not super, super shimmery. So on days when I want to look a little highlighted but don't want to look too overly highlighted, I reach for this one. This first one is the NYC Sunny Bronzer. And this is a great matte bronzer from the drugstore. I know that finding a matte bronzer at the drugstore is very hard to find, but this is a great one. I used it today like to contour. Um, I feel like this would work on a lot of different skin tones. If you were super, super dark, I don't know if it would work, but I feel like on the majority of people, this bronzer would work decently. Um, I have it swatched right here. It's also a great bronzer to use as eyeshadow. I use this bronzer a lot like in the crease of my eye. So yeah, I love this one. And then my other Holy Grail bronzer from the drugstore is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the color Ticket to Brazil. This one I like when I want a bronzer that has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not 100% matte like the NYC Sunny bronzer is. It has a little bit of a sheen. Um, so this is a great one to use to like bronze up the face, not so much for contouring. Um, I feel like swatched on my hand, you're going to have a hard time seeing it. But on the skin, I feel like it really shows up and it looks really pretty. 
Um, so I have it swatched right here, and I know my swatch of it, it's probably going to look kind of orange, but I don't find that it looks really orange on me. It just does a good job of like warming up my complexion. This is also a great color to use in the crease as well. So it also doubles as an eyeshadow. I use it for an eyeshadow all the time. And I actually filmed a tutorial with me using these Wet n Wild bronzers as eyeshadows. So I'll link that down below if you're interested. But yeah, those are my two Holy Grail drugstore bronzers. I have so many drugstore blushes that I love. So this was a really hard one for me to narrow it down. Um, but I did narrow it down to just one blush. Like if I had to just pick one blush from the drugstore, this would be the blush I would pick. And it is the Milani Baked Blush in the color Luminoso. It's just one of those blush colors that you could wear with just about any makeup look. It just warms up your complexion really nice. I'm wearing it today. Um, it's just such a beautiful color. And I feel like it's very flattering on a lot of different skin tones. I'll swatch it here on my hand for you guys. It's just a beautiful coral color. And it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not like completely matte. But it doesn't have like chunky shimmer in it. It just has like a nice sheen. This was another category that I just have so many different lipsticks that I love from the drugstore. But I narrowed it down to three... Well, I guess maybe four. And I feel like since I got my hair darker, I don't know if I like some of these colors as much as I did when I was blonde. But I know whenever I was blonde, these were definitely like holy grail nude lipsticks. So this first one, and as you can tell, I have used it a lot because the packaging is really disgusting. But this is the Wet n Wild lipstick in the color Fergie Daily. It's one of the Fergie lipsticks. And it's just a beautiful, like, pinky, mauve um, nude. I do find on me now that this is almost, I need something to kind of brighten it up a little bit. So, like, today I am wearing this lip color, but I topped it with the NYX Black Label Lipstick in the color Nude. And I found that when I topped it with Nude, it really kind of brightened it up a little bit. Because I feel like with my dark hair now, this color almost washes me out. But if you have blonde hair, this is awesome. The Fergie Wet n Wild Daily Lipstick. It lasts forever. It is moisturizing. It's just an awesome everyday like nude lipstick. My next favorite nude, like Holy Grail nude lipstick, is one of the Maybelline Color Sensational nude lipsticks. And this is in the color Cinnamon. And it's like a darker nude. It's almost like a taupey type of nude like a taupey brown and it's swatched right here. I feel like with my hair being brown, I'm going to get a lot more use out of this one, but I still used this nude a lot whenever I was blonde and I wanted a nude that was a little darker. So if you want like a darker nude for like every day, I do highly recommend this one. I love the Maybelline Color Sensational lipsticks. Like all the ones that I've ever bought from Maybelline in this line, like the Color Sensational line, they're just so moisturizing and long wearing. So yeah, I highly recommend the Color Sensational lipsticks and especially this one in Cinnamon. I love this one. And then my last Holy Grail lipstick is a Revlon, um, what, did I, I just like totally blanked out. The Revlon um, Lip Butter. There we go. I finally thought of it. This is the Revlon Lip Butter in the color Creme Brulee. And this is a good brownish, peachy nude. It's kind of a sheer nude. It's right here, but it is like very glossy, very moisturizing. Um, so it's like one of those types of products that if you want something kind of like a chapstick, but like with color, the lip butters are awesome for that, and I love this, sorry, <laughs> I love this for like an everyday nude. I wear this a lot to work, so highly recommend this nude. It's definitely like a holy grail drugstore nude. I hope that you guys did enjoy this. If you all have some holy grail drugstore makeup products that I didn't mention, leave them down in the comments because I would be curious to know what are some of your holy grail makeup products from the drugstore. I hope that you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye, guys. Mwah.